Hi, hello, I'm G and I thought I would do a little introduction to my new channel um, which is G's Nail Spot as you'll know because you're already here um, and it's a place where I thought I would share all my nail stuff that I do. Now quick disclaimer I am not a qualified nail technician, I am not trained, I don't have any qualifications in doing nails, um, I've only ever used gel polishers and gel builders and it's all self-taught, it's what I've learned from watching YouTube uh, and videos and reading articles. Um, I don't have a salon and I've never had any paying clients or anything like that but I do love nail art I love the creative process I love sparkly spooky shiny things um and I love creating nail art sets um I've done it for years I've put gel polishes on my own nails for years and I really enjoyed it it's a calming process it's a creative process and I just really like it and I thought after watching loads of amazing youtubers do amazing nail art and it's been so useful for me to learn. I thought it might be fun if I shared it. And it's kind of nice to think that um, I could be part of the community, of the nail art community. Um, so I thought I'd start this channel. Um, I put a few pictures on Instagram and they've um, been quite popular. People like them, which is nice. So I thought, oh, let's, let's get going with a YouTube channel then. So I do my nail art at home. Um, I'm in my guest room now, but I've got a little corner of the room set up as a nail station where I've got my polishes and things like that. And this is where I sit and do nail stuff. Um, I don't paint my own nails anymore. I say anymore. Um, doesn't mean I never will. I just I won't at the moment because I had a awful, awful allergic reaction back in October last year. So October 2021. Um, and it's took a long, long time. Um, so from then to now, I've not worn anything on my nails um, and they're finally, I say finally getting back to normal. I wouldn't say they're back to normal. The skin still doesn't feel normal. They look a heck of a lot better. And I didn't take any photos or anything of them when they were a bit icky because they were icky. And it's not really something I thought of doing. Oh, I snapped some pictures of these disgusting looking hands. But I should have done really just to, to, to log it to, um, you know document it I guess but there you go so I won't be putting anything on although I'm looking forward to trying some new Hema free polishes that I got for Christmas to see if I can wear those to see if that's the reason I had the reaction but for now I am enjoying painting press-ons and um, all different shape press-ons and doing my creative nail art that way which is fun um, and I always use barrier cream and uh, gloves whenever I do it now because just the slightest touch I mean I was clearing out my drawer to get rid of those poly gels and one uh, sort of leaked a little bit and I got the teeniest tiniest amount on my finger which I immediately got off and I scrubbed my hands and everything else but boom two fingers immediately started going red hot and itchy again oh, that's how bad it can be anyway so that's me that's a little bit of my history that's a little bit why I'm here um doing nails isn't the only thing I do it is it is a bit of a hobby for me um I do have a day job and I'm also a competing uh, powerlifter and powerlifting coach so I do, I do that as well in my spare time so I like to stay active um uh, but I like to stay creative as well so um so that's me um I'm gonna shut up waffling for a little bit now and hopefully you guys will enjoy the content that I put on the channel uh, like I say it's really just to share what I'm doing with you guys uh, and see what you think um, and like I say just to be part of the community uh, and hopefully get some new ideas see what you guys think of what I'm doing if you've got any advice for me that'd be great because like I say I'm just using polishes uh, gel polishes at the moment but that's not to say I might not move on to acrylics and things like that. I'm, I may do. We'll see how I feel and try new things. That would be great. And like I say, any advice you guys can give me would be greatly appreciated. Um, and that's that's about it for now. So you know who I am. You know what I look like. Uh, because in the channel, you're probably going to see mainly my gloved hands. <laughs> but hopefully I'll pop back on so you can see my face at some point uh, in some future videos. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you soon in my future videos. Bye bye.